Hi, my name is Kelly, and today we're going to talk about online rider courses. If you're like me in January, anytime you go to YouTube or anything, <laughs> any place online, you're going to find something for a rider course, a marketing course, a social media course, some kind of course. And, I'll, and if you're like me, you wonder if it's worth the money or if it's something you need to invest in. Because a lot of these courses aren't cheap. I've taken a lot of rider courses and a lot of different courses in my time, and they're not cheap at all. So we're going to talk about five things to think about when you're considering paying for some kind of a writer course. Number one, what are you looking for from this author course? And you need to be specific. If you're looking for a course on craft, of course, you're not going to pay for a course on marketing. If you're looking for a course on time management on how to write more, you're not going to pick out a course on, I don't know, adverbs or Instagram or something like that. You need to be specific in what you're looking for and make sure that you find a course that specifically fits that need. Number two, does the person giving the course have a good reputation for their course and can they give you what they say they're going to give you and what you're looking for? Sometimes you can see courses of people who say they can do one thing but then they're rank or their sales numbers or their whatever doesn't show that type of thing. Let's say for a, a really big example, you can have somebody who's core, and if you hear somebody talking, that's my husband. He's been really loud. I'm sorry. You can have somebody who says they're going to sell a course on being a New York Times bestselling author. But if you go and look at their bio and look everything up about them, they've never been a New York Times bestselling author. If you're okay with that, then buy their course. But it's not really going to be giving you the information <laughs> as somebody who has been there doing that course. Number three, can I afford it? Courses are very expensive. Some of them are. Some of them are pretty reasonably priced, but some courses can be really expensive and it is an investment. And uh, sometimes that's how they get people to buy the courses is they'll say you need to invest in yourself, which is true. You do need to invest in yourself, but you also need to save money and know when you're investing for yourself or if you're investing in their what they want you to invest in. So is the course that you're looking at something that somebody's trying to sell you? Is it worth the money that it's going to cost? Can you honestly afford it? I would say don't go into debt for any courses, especially when there's so much information on YouTube and blogs and everything. I wouldn't go into too much debt, if at all, on any course. But it's up to you. And if you have to decide if you think the money and the the content and the the things you get out of it, the worksheets, the work, the time, the people involved, the connections is worth the cost. Number four, will it help you grow your business? Is the course that you want to take something that will help your business grow or is it just something like the new fad that you just kind of want to follow along if it's not going to help you grow your business you might want to take a second and think about if it's something you want to take i had a or i watched a uh, instagram uh, video and it was it was a free video but they were trying to sell a course and that's fine. If you want to take an Instagram course, you go for it. I was really interested in it because growing my Instagram is something that I'm interested in. And But the course cost more than I could get out of it, I thought. And I didn't feel that that money was going toward growing my business. So I decided not to take that course. But if you see a course and you write down the pros and cons, and you're like, yes, this will help my business, then that's one thing to consider if you need to take it. Number five, be sure to read testimonials and research. And don't just read testimonials. Talk to people about the course that you know have taken the course and research the course, research the person giving the course to see if they can actually give you what they say they're going to give you. Like back to the New York Times bestseller, um, author course and that's not actually a real course so don't think I, or I don't think it is I just made it up so if there's somebody out there that says they're a New York Times bestseller or can say they can make your book a New York Times bestseller and they're not don't think I'm saying anything bad about them because I just kind of made it up I don't know if it's a real course but if it is 
do your research and see one if this person can actually do it and two is has it been recent have, have the the methods that they've used been recently um used because like things that happened five ten years ago sometimes they don't work now and talk to other people who have used the course and see what they think about it now some people make you sign a you cannot say bad things about this course thing before you take it so you kind of have to kind of gauge it on that but you know use your own discretion when you pick a course also going back to where i was talking about thinking about um what you want there's different kind of courses that you can have there's planner courses there's time management courses there's writing courses there's mindset courses if you need to feel like that you need to get your mind in a wonderful mindset place and you're looking for a course for that they have those too but i wouldn't take a mindset course if you're trying to find a writing course or don't take a writing course if you want to find a time management course so uh sit down and be specific of what you need to think about and the specific type of course you need before you go looking for courses you can take i've written down some recommendations for you for courses and people that i think um, do great courses this is by no means an exhaustive list there's a lot more out there and if your name's not on this list or of a course you've taken it's not on this list don't think it's me saying yeah this is bad this is just ones that i can think of off the top of my head and several different categories for you to look into if you want to find a course to take um, Sarah Cannon, she's a YouTuber and under Heart Breathings and her pen name or her writer name, her book name is Sarah Cannon and she does an HB90 planner uh, course. She made the planner and she has a course on doing it and she has a course on goal setting and she does planner things too. Hers, I've never taken one of her courses. I do use her HB90 uh, system. I do have use the planner, but I've never taken the course that goes with it. I've watched the YouTube videos, but I have heard some people that take her courses and she said they say that they're really good. Also, I do take this one, Alexandra Torres. She's an author and she has marketing and business courses that are really good. And she gives a lot of free information in her in webinars and in her uh, mailing list. So be sure to look her up if you're looking at marketing and business advice. Go, I'm sure we've all seen the masterclass videos that's pop, that pops up, you know, on the ad section. I've taken the James Patterson one before. They're very affordable. It was like four, uh, $90, I think, which is really, really good for a masterclass. And you can go to the masterclass website and you can find any Thing that you're looking for and you can buy that class and then you'll definitely get what or uh, more than likely get what you're looking for I think that there's some wonderful courses in the world I've paid for my fair share of courses and I've learned a lot from each of them these are just some tips I have taken some courses that I probably shouldn't have taken that's where the know what you're what you're wanting to get out of a course before you sign up for it. I've signed up wanting some writing advice and going to a master class or not a master class a mindset course and you know that's not really working <laughs> so make sure be like be different from me and know what you're getting into or what you want from the class before you sign up for it. at the very end you'll either have gained some knowledge of the course or you've gained some knowledge of I will never do that again <laughs> What's your favorite courses? Leave a comment in the description and tell me all about it. I'll put all the links to Sarah Cannon's and Master Classes and Alexander Torres in the description. That's it. I hope this has been really informational and something that you can take with you. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.